Hiya, and welcome to Tykes TV. Uh, it's Neil, and today I've got Andy on. So we're going to have a bit of a recap on the Cardiff game. Also looking for the game against the Rusville Town in FA Cup. So Andy, welcome, mate. Hiya. Uh, so, yeah, after his midweek game against uh, Cardiff, what's your take on that, Ben? What, uh, what you can fetch from it? Um... Sometimes it's like repeating uh, a sense, isn't it, about different games, but same old issues, really. Um, mm. To be honest, I thought overall, I thought we played better football, but it's going back to, you know, uh, quality up front uh, for us. And, yeah, qu- well, quality all over, really, especially mm. uh, that goal that we let in. Um, but, yeah, we, we don't seem to have any midfielders that... Uh, you know, is willing to shoot and uh, also strikers as well. They're, they're very lacking in confidence as well, shall we say. Mm. Um, now, um, disappointed that we've lost. Um, I mean, Cardiff are not exactly the best team I've seen at no. Oakwell this season. I thought no. they were quite poor, really. No. Um, but they took the chance and, that you know, they did a job and that's all they needed that's, to do. Yeah. I really... I, to be fair, I was surprised that uh, both at New Law and Ease were, uh, you know, in squad because I know we're going to be saying that it might be down to visa issues and that. But yeah. what I saw about Queener, he looked like he's got a decent touch on him and a good, a good pass and ball. Like he looked really impressed. Uh, yeah, I, I was quite impressed with him as well. Um, yeah. I required. It's a shame that they're not our players though, isn't it? Um, yeah. Getting to on loan. Um, yeah, uh, it's just a shame that, you know, we didn't try and uh, put a cheeky bid in and uh, yeah. get him in permanent. But yeah. that's a different issue, I think. Um, uh, I mean, transfer deadline anyway, I thought, well, rubbish, mm. uh, what we did. Uh, we didn't get what we need. Uh, no mind what we want, it's what we need. Um, yeah. We didn't get players in. Uh, and, yeah, two on loan, I thought it was very, very disappointing. Yeah, uh, I was so I was surprised with that and all because I said it in a, a couple of videos ago. So I was just going to see it going to like last day, seeing a couple of loans. I'd, I'd like to see some permanent ones in, but I think we yeah. position that we're in at minute. Uh, whether Queen starts and Bassey starts tomorrow, I, I don't know in uh, FA Cup. But what, like I say, I think it, that Queen were out on loan at uh, Fulham and he only played yeah. a handful of games via so we call him back and we've got him so. Yeah. It looks like he wants to play football, uh, and he, you know, and it looks it looks up for it. Yeah. Um, like I said, I think Cardiff did a bit of a smash and grab job, didn't they? You know, the yeah. an individual error, you know, it cost us. But you know, I've been looking at that equaliser by you know Azaka, that won't offside. That amount no, of time has okay. been shown back at that won't offside, Andy. No, my daughter said um, she saw it. My daughter said uh, it won't offside, but. Mm. That's what happens, isn't it? When you're struggling, you don't get them um, decisions going for you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, goal that we conceded against Cardiff, though. There, there were two uh, defenders, weren't there, and him and yeah. Uh, even his shot weren't clean. It wasn't a clean shot. Mm. No, no. <laughs> so, no, it, 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 again, it's just same old problems. You seem to switch off for that split second, which you, you can't do it. Championship, uh, everybody knows that, and you've got to take your chances, and that's what we're not doing yeah. Um, but yeah I tell you something though I wouldn't mind having uh, Joe Lowman in my corner if I get into any bother I tell you something <laughs> because he's done it at Stoke and done it at Cardiff I think if I it's him, the amount of times and I've been watching it back and watching it back and I'm thinking it started off on the touchline and then you see Poyer more or less walk away and Joe Lowman there is like saying come on let's have it on let's bring it you know well, passion I didn't see I didn't see it to be honest in, uh, right. when I walked man. I yeah. just saw some of our players run towards tunnel, and I yeah. thought they were just I, like I didn't see what were going off. I just saw some of our players run towards tunnel, but uh, yeah, he's definitely uh, passionate. I don't think I'd like to mess no. with him. I mean, I, I used to be uh, I used to be a wrestler with son, and uh, I'd have him as a tag team partner. I was going to say, I've, I've, I'd have him on my side rather than not on my side. <laughs> Put it that way, yeah. A bit, you know, you're in, if uh, you need a bit of backup, it's going to be there for you, like so, yeah. Uh, so I'll, I'll be able to carry that bit of passion in off him tomorrow, like into the game. So yeah. we'll come around, around to Huddersfield game. 
like we said, <clears throat> sorry, we've just been saying off air that it's a sellout. Um, I'm, um, like what we've been saying, Andy, I'm surprised that we haven't got any more tickets if we sold them out. You know what I mean? I just can't get me head around it. That away end at Huddersfield definitely holds more than what we've got. Mm. Um, and I even e- emailed uh, Claude because I was wanting to take my daughter Maddie tomorrow because uh, mm. she wanted to go. And I said to her, um, while we at March, uh, you know, in midweek against Cardiff, I'll uh, get them there. But they announced it before that, that they'd all gone. Mm. Um, so I do feel a bit bad about that. But uh, now when I emailed them and they said that they've got all the allocated tickets I, I, and they said they're not going to apply for any more, I, mm. I don't know whether it's Huddersfield thinking it's going to cost more in police, stewards. I don't know. Ah, true. Uh, mm. I have no idea. But, I'm yeah, I'm disappointed about that. Yeah. Really uh, obviously, if you can be watching it by any other way, we can. Um, I don't know if it's going to be like on, you know, red button streams or like that. There might be something knocking about. Yeah. Um, I just feel, I mean, it's going to be a derby, innit? Do you think there's yeah. going to be many changes on our side? Because, I mean, I know the mess yeah. against Barrow, but yeah, I can see there being a, a few changes yeah. on the boundary side. Yeah, I, I always think, um, well, especially in modern football, there's like um, a league team and um, a cup team that we yeah. put out. Like, you, you change the net, that's yeah. going to be a give it up. Walton will play. Yeah. Um, I think two, then two new lads, I think they'll start. Mm. Um, Bassey and... Uh, what, uh, Queener, yeah. Queener, yeah. yeah. Um, I think they'll start... Um, and probably some fringe players as well. Mm. Um, I, I know fans were disappointed um, against Watford that Matty Wolf and Grant, who's the other one there? Oh, Marsh. Oh, Marsh, yeah. yeah. yeah they were included. They might be inside, uh, well, in squad tomorrow. Yeah. So, yeah, I do think there'll be uh, quite a few. There might be some coming back as well. We be a lot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I think Akawama, I've, I've read somewhere earlier that he might he might be making it, whether he's match fit, I don't know. But I think he's like in contention, he's back training because he's been yeah. more or less out all season with injuries and that. We know Collarwood just a lot. Morris yeah. coming off the bench. So there's a, there's a bit of a mixture here. And like I said, what, what I saw against Matty Wolf when he made his start, I, I, I don't think he looked out of place, to be fair. I thought he did a decent job in midfield and then... Young Aidan Marsh come on his second day if they were unlucky. He could have got yeah. not a bad first touch, he could have scored, you know. So yeah, yeah that's shot. It's just what what gets me though, um we shouldn't be in that position to put the young ones in. And mm. I know people uh, were saying, Yeah, but they've got passion, but so it's Moon. Moon's got passion, but we've absolutely destroyed him because we've thrown him in at deep end. Yeah. You're going to get that little bit of a lift at uh, first time to start, and that's what happened with him. Uh, soon as they start making mistakes and the world of course, the young uns, yeah. um, in our position, I think it's going to cripple him. Um, I mean, if we had a, you know, a fully strength squad available, they wouldn't have been uh, there, would they? It was just no. a basically all we had like but yeah they did well uh, but I don't think they're quite ready yeah and yeah. I think it's a lot unfair as well but yeah, uh, yeah credit where credit still they did well uh, yeah. and it should be part of the sense yeah and like like you just said there you can't be dependent on it you can't be reliant on it because at the end of the day the, the young lads are still learning the trade aren't they and last yeah. thing you want to do is drain the confidence and, and knock them back so I get what you're saying. I mean, that's where, I, you know, he could come back down to the transfer window if he recruited a bit stronger. But my to met some bench and you don't mind him bringing him off at bench, you know, to make an impact. Yeah. But, you know, you can't be reliant and dependent on him, especially coming in every game, every game, every game, because you don't want lads conference knocking dear. Well, well, yeah, exactly. And that's what happened with Moon. Mm. Um, straight away, making uh, his Football League debut was straight in Championship and... Mm. At the beginning, we were, we were relying on him at week in, week out. Um, I think they expected him being another John Stones. I think that's why they threw him in. Yeah. Um, expecting to get interest from bigger clubs to uh, offer us, um, I don't know, a couple of quid for him and not let him go. I mm-hmm. think that's what the plan was. But I personally think we've destroyed a good player there. I hope he comes back. But mm-hmm. his confidence uh, must be shot. And yeah. it's not his fault. I think it's... Uh, uh, club's fault not developing right and mm. that's before 
you know, nine players. Yeah, um, true. A, a good. Um, uh, what's what I'm looking for? Um, ex- experience uh, player. I, I can't mm. even remember the head down. So <laughs> <what you would. laughs> uh, outside of my own, uh, I think that would have fetched him on leaps and bounds. But, you know, where uh, his feelings towards experienced yeah, players. I was going to say, we don't, we don't do that, do we? <laughs> we do opposite of that. Uh, so we're on about, like, you know, maybe a few changes inside. Do you think yeah. he'll stop with the same formation? I, I've got a feeling he'll probably stick with the same formation, my son. Uh, I don't know. It's a it's a difficult one, I think. Because um, he's, like, started playing styles a bit, like, behind forage and... Yeah, no. He's like, I know. Uh, no, I think he was wasted uh, the, uh, as well against uh, Cardiff because they shoved him up, didn't they? Shoved mm. him further fro- uh, forward. Mm. The thing is with Poy, I find him a bit awkward to read. I personally think there's not much difference between him and the shop. Um, yeah, yeah it, it'll probably keep the same formation, but just different personnel, I think. Um, but you never know. Um, it, you know, um, it, it seems to so odd, uh, well card into team now and again, doesn't he? Yeah. Um, <laughs> it might, might convert um, Walton into a striker tomorrow, something like that. I don't know. Seems to be good at doing that, don't be playing uh, players out of different positions just to make it up. I know a, a few Huddersfield Town fans are saying that, well, what I work with, and I'm saying, oh, you'll you'll come and do a job on us, and this, oh, I'm thinking. FA Cup changes, it could be old me. I, I don't think it's a given base. It's, no. I, you know, I could, I could see it being a draw at full time. I don't know. Yeah. I just really can't, not going to call it's it. I, call, it? Mm. I think it's hard to call me tomorrow. Yeah. Um, I always like a, a cup run, but don't get me wrong. If it means losing and us having a fainting chance to stay up at league, yeah. I prefer us losing tomorrow. Um, mm. But yeah, it's always good to uh, have a cut run. I don't know. It's um, yeah, difficult one. Difficult. I'm going. I just can see it being a draw. I I, I just yeah. got a feeling it's going to be a draw, one apiece after ninety minutes, and then yeah. it's it lap at gods. I mean, we all knew what happened at Barrow. It was like you know, backers and forwards, backers and forwards, wasn't it? And yeah, I I just got a feeling it's going to be one apiece, and I think Huddersfield will just sneak it, my son. Yeah. Uh, but again, we just taking over two thousand, you know, in a way, and make, make a bit of noise. Make Huddersfield, art seeing Huddersfield a bit, it might make a bit of a difference. I don't know. It's it's an Arden, yeah. isn't it? It's an Arden. Yeah, it's you know, FA Cup matches nowadays are not, uh, you know, not bread and butter. Are they? Not like no. they used to be. Um, you know, back in our day when uh, I mean, I used to love FA Cup. Hmm. Um, used to take it right serious and. But it, it, it's just got a different feeling now, and it. Um, yeah, I, I can see probably odd goal uh, mm. winning it, um, a draw at very least. I don't know. Difficult, difficult. Depends what Huddersfield um, wants to do as well. Are they going to play a, a weakened team or? Mm. You no, know, it, it's a hard one to call. I think. I, I think it's like interesting when you look at like your teams. What are in probably. Championship upwards, so uh, they always normally mm. alter the side. Whereas, like, you go down to league, you know, a league below us one and two, they always seem yeah. to play the more or less strongest side. You it's know, money, but, isn't it? yeah, money. that's what it is. That's what it yeah. is. Uh, yeah. so like I said, I'll just feel that they're, they're, they're going to probably do changes and all because they're going to be yeah. straight on league and all that. But so, yeah, you know, you get your priorities done. But then if you go further on and you might get to quarters and semis, then that's when you start. Not being disrespectful to FA Cup, but you, st- you st- if you start as a club, then to take it a bit more serious. You know what I yeah. mean? Because it's like, oh, hey, we, we could be on the way to Wembley if for a, a, yeah. an outing. So, uh, yeah, my my thoughts. I think it's going to be one apiece after ninety minutes, and I can see it being yeah. Huddersfield just pipping it. I don't think there's going to be much in it. I'm, I'm no, hoping I... it's going to be a decent game. with it being Yorkshire Derby. You know what I mean? I'm hoping yeah. it's going to be a decent game, but like I say it's FA Cup and. Sometimes yeah. it loses its bit of luster. It's not like how it used to be, is it? No, it's not, no. Third, third round at FA Cup, when I was younger, I used to love it. I can't explain. I, I used to love going to cup matches. Mm-hmm. Uh, but now, it, it, like I say, it just doesn't seem to have the same feeling now. No. It's, it's uh, a shame. Our football's changed. 
Yeah, it is. No, it's changing all the time, isn't it? I mean, like I say, in third round, you used to look forward to it and then it was, you know, replay if you've got a big team and then it will wait yeah. for fourth round draw. It was like, oh, we're going to get next. Yeah. And now if you get a big side, you know that, no disrespect, but you know, like any team at Premier, they're going to put out, a, like you said, their cup side. They're not going to be playing the no. strongest side of it. So it's, no. it takes like magic art in it, I think, for me a bit like that. All balls down to money, Neil, at the end of the day. That's true, mate. It is. Yeah, true, That's mate. It the two balls are about, you know, trying to qualify for Europe and that. And yeah. FA Cup for them is secondary, isn't it? It's just yeah. down there with, with like over, at League Cup and that. So, and it's um, more to our benefit to stay up than, you know, with some more injuries yeah. in it for League. So, because yeah. there's going to be a fair few coming up, isn't there? Because it's going to be more so weekend and a midweek, week and a midweek, isn't it? With all these yeah. COVID fixtures, what's been, it was going to pile up yeah. somewhere. So, yeah, uh, I agree with that. So, I want to thank Andy for coming on. Um, appreciate it, Andy. Cheers, mate. Yeah, cheers. Enjoyed that. I'm miss coming on. Uh, all. Fans, I'll, uh, if you like, subscribe, leave your comments below. Uh, you may agree, disagree with our school predictions and that. Let us know what uh, you all think we're going to do. Uh, once again, thanks, Andy, for joining us. Uh, try and get you on a bit more regular. We'll do some after-match thoughts and stuff like that with yeah. league games coming up. So there's going to be a fair few coming up. I think we've got okay. uh, Lowton Town away, aren't we, on Tuesday. So that's going oh, to be... Yeah. That's going to be a decent one because Luton are on a, on, up and all at minute, aren't they? So they've got yeah. playing really well. So, yeah, cheers, Andy. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, one Thanks, thing man. left to say, you Reds.